In this video, I'll be revisiting the scapular plane lateral raise and whether or not it's optimal. Last week, I made a video discrediting scapular plane lateral raises, and I don't necessarily regret it considering my data and the studies I referenced supported my stance. However, this time I'm actually recording the activation of my upper traps in addition to the medial delt, and this experiment changed my opinion and I'll admit I was probably wrong. As you can see in this first clip of me performing a standard lateral raise in the coronal plane, straight out to the sides, the upper traps are definitely heavily involved. Switching over to a scapular plane raise, we can very clearly see that traps activity nearly halves. I knew it would decrease, but I absolutely did not expect a drastic drop off like this. All the while, medial delt activation stays consistently high. So yes, I will now admit that scapular plane raises are optimal. However, I found really interesting data surrounding whether or not you should be leaning on your lateral raises, which I'll be covering in the follow-up to this video. 